Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, lover of cosmetics. We are back to do another fave hates empties at this point. Month one of 2024 is in the books. I have obviously been playing around with a lot of things, traveling around a lot, buying a lot of things. So we're gonna do a fave hates and empties, talking about products that I've loved, products that my husband and I have both used up, as well as some products that just did not meet the mark. Let's start with hates first. You guys love when I drag a product. That being said, disclaimer for this is always just because a product does not work for me does not mean it's a bad product. And actually, truth be told, I don't think any of these are really bad, bad products. I just think they're meant for a certain type of consumer or a certain user. Basically, what I was trying to get out of the product, it was just not working for me. So, disclaimer. Also, I'm gonna try to be real quick with this. I do tend to talk a lot. So, I'm going to try to be concise with what my opinions are so we can try to get through this. So getting started, first thing I have is from Trader Joe's. This is their firming body butter made with glycolic acid right up here on the marketing. Bought this, thought it was gonna be an exfoliating body cream. My husband says it smells like bathroom cleaner. I think it smells fine. It smells like artificial tart citrus. There's like 1% glycolic acid in this barely. So it doesn't it doesn't work with what I needed to do. I was putting this on my feet thinking it was exfoliating my feet and it wasn't doing anything, so. But it feels nice and it has vitamin C, so. Next from Vaseline, I bought this because all of, specifically the UK girlies were always talking about this as like a really good body moisturizer that gave you like a good glistening glow. I cannot figure out how to get this to work. This feels like you're spreading lip gloss on your body. I tried this on wet skin, I've tried this on damp skin, I've tried this on dry skin, and it does not spread. It smells good. It looks good on the body, but again, it goes back to it feels and looks like you have spread a lip gloss on your body. So you are kind of sticky. It does smell good and it was cheap. So if you have like recommendations for how to use this, please let me know. From Bondi Sands, I did do a review of this. I'll have it linked up in the cards. This claims matte, it's not matte. It claims tinted, the tint for this is nasty disgusting. So this is one that I actually did not love. It was 15 pounds or $15 or 15 euro from wherever I bought it. Just did not hit. It really did not hit. A match product that did hit, but it just... It messed up my whole day from Joa. I bought this at Walgreens in New York. This is their mattifying primer. Does this mattify? Yes, the house down. But you have to, I guess, use this under the most perfect conditions because one time I used it and I was matte. Another time I used it, I was sweating underneath the application of this. And I think that just caused it to like not settle into my skin. It sat on my skin. And so when I went to like blot my face, it wiped off half my face because of this. So it's a little finicky. It is matte, but you just have to be able to use it under the right conditions. And if a product takes too much, much guesswork to make it actually work. It's not convenient. From Farmstay, this is a sunscreen. It's, I think it's Korean too. It's a tea tree biome calming sun serum. This is a really nice texture. It's very milky, very lightweight on the skin. I will say this actually is actually fairly mattifying as well, but this has titanium dioxide up in there at enough of a percentage where it looks like you have a little something going on in the facial hair. It was definitely an experience. So if you have like tan, dark, deep skin, it's not gonna be one for you. And I was not aware of that going into it because it's not tone up or anything. It was very deceptory of them to not really disclaim that or anything like that, but it was just not like a, it was a surprise user experience that was not positive. But if you have oily, acne prone skin, you have a matte sunscreen. This is actually like decent. And then for body, this is from Kosas. It's their Kosas Sports Good Body Skin. I use this because it's an AHA and enzyme exfoliating wash, and I've been really into body care, specifically body shower care. And I love an exfoliating body product because I've mentioned this. I like to use them in my hair just for like a full body experience. This does feel nice on the skin no irritation I just don't love the smell of this when it comes to body care especially shower stuff like that smell and user experience to me actually doesn't make a big difference with the experience and this is it did not smell great I don't love the smell of this it smells very like baby powdery to me and that doesn't hit to me so this is a good product the only fault for it is just I don't love this smell an interesting hate, again, this product is not bad, bad. It actually, actually does what it says it's gonna do. This is from Nivea. It's part of their Luminous 630 line, which is a line under Nivea that targets pigmentation. And this is their Post Acne Marks Serum. And I bought this because I think it claims to be for oily skin and mattifying. And I will say, and I'll have it here on screen, it does mattify very well. Hero ingredients in this are salicylic acid, which I'm like, okay, blemish prone skin, that's great. So the Luminous 630 line, it has this ingredient called thiamidol in it. The all the products in the line do, and it, that's what targets pigmentation. Formulation-wise, it is a nice concept. Experience-wise, it does what it's going to do. The two faults for it, where I'm like, ugh. The three faults for it, actually. A, it's very perfumed. Even for me, loving fragrance, I'm like, that's a lot going on right there. B, when it sets down, it does this thing where it, like, this film forms on the skin and it feels very tight. You know, like those mats, like the peel-off masks where they dry down and your face gets really tight? It gives that, which is very ironic considering the fact that it has, like, panthenol. It's a hydrating formula overall, technically. And then 
then the third one is that depending on what you put on top of it, it can pill. So you gotta be really weary with that, but it is very matte. I will give them that. I believe that's the hates for right now. Let's get on to the empties. Again, this is a combination of stuff my husband and I have both used and give a quick opinion whether or not I'll repurchase. Starting with from Salt Air, this is their Golden Hour Oil Infused Nourishing Body Wash. Salt Air is a brand everyone's been gagged about, everyone's been loving. I haven't gotten a chance to use this. I did get this at NPR. The tea behind this is it's very similar in experience to the Notorium Moisturizing Body Washes. I did not like the fact that this did not lather as much as I wanted it to when I used this on a loofah with an exfoliating glove nothing with the washcloth and it just never lathered really well and the smell of this I just didn't love 100% again smell for me with body care is a big thing and this just did not hit 100% the way I wanted it to and because it wasn't lathering a lot I felt like I had to use a lot of it to really feel like it was doing something so I burned through this really quick I do love it looks very expensive I love the feel of this being aluminum lux wise it gives that impression but it's just the smell of this and hit so I don't I want to try more from the brand but I don't not this one from soft services I have raved about this on my channel for ages I finally have finished this I am requesting another couple of these one for me one for my brother just because if you got blemish prone skin this is really the one to try out this is for body but I use it on my face and this maintains a nice clear complexion husband empty from Cerave the moisturizing body cream he loves this it's simple it's very moisturizing that's like a nice cream texture and for him he has really dry body skin so he definitely burns through these but I think he actually prefers this one from Gold Bond. We buy this at Target pretty much in bulk at this point. This is their eczema relief one and having used both I actually do prefer the Gold Bond one as well. If you had a choice to repurchase one of these you're gonna choose the Gold Bond. Gold Bond. I know my mans. From Rode this is their barrier restoring cream. I think this is a husband empty as well. I really like Rode. I will say I do like Rode a lot. I prefer some of their like lighter texture products. This is really nice if you want a very straight to the point moisturizer. It's a richer texture. You didn't like it. Repurchase? Yeah. From Tatcha. I, you know, I'm guilty. I talk a lot of shit about Tatcha. This was their Indigo Cleansing Balm. Disclaimer, I did do an ad for this. And being with Sephora Squad now, slash getting a lot of feedback from you guys, you guys like Tatcha. You guys really enjoy what Tatcha is. And while I do think they're expensive, I think the packaging's really nice. And I think they're really simple formulas as well, which is great for people who have sensitive skin or who don't want a lot of bells and whistles. To me, it's really just the price point. I will say about this, it's a really nice cleansing balm, really breaks down makeup well, no scent. That's the one thing I wish it had. I wish it did have a scent because it would really elevate that luxury experience for me. But overall, it's really cute. I will say in terms of Tatcha products, I think this is actually one of the more affordable products as well in terms of it's a lower price point. So this wasn't bad. If I did have a choice too, in terms of this or the cleansing oil, I would choose this. Another cleansing product, this is from Fenty. It's their cleansing, what is this one called? The Melt Off Cleansing Balm. I think this is a Fenty skin product I do not love which is if you're on this channel a lot, you know, I love me some Fenty skin because I hate the packaging of this. If they could have done anything else, it would have elevated the experience or just improved this because this is a situation where it's technically, it's like a suction vacuum situation where you push the top down like a ballpoint pen and it's supposed to dispense the product. Half the time you push it down once, nothing comes out. You push it twice, three uses worth of product pops out. And it's like, well, now I have all this cleansing oil. What am I supposed to do? And also the biggest thing for me, and I'm just like, where, what was the thought behind this is that this scent profile is very like lavender essential oil, which fits nowhere inside the Fenty skin family of scents. So it's like the awkward cousin at like the Thanksgiving dinner. It's like, who invited you? So overall, like I'd give this a C, like it works decently and it melts off makeup really well. I just hate the packaging and the smell of this is just not what I want from Fenty skin. So you know what they need to do? Come out with limited editions of this in the same scent profiles as like A, the regular skin products, but also their body products. Cause the body products from them, especially like the body bombs, they smell delicious. So like, I want that and those smells. Another empty from Naturium, this is one of my empties. This is their Ginseng Cleansing Balm. A lot of cleansing balms. We use a lot of cleansing products here. This is really perfect. I probably emptied about four of these since this product launched a couple years back. It's just a very straight to the point, non-scented, really easy to use, affordable cleansing balm. Yeah, I have backups for this at all times. I wish this had a scent. This smells industrial plastic, but it's one of those things where that's the whole Naturium thing. They want to be fragrance free. They want to be more universally approachable, especially for sensitive skin. That's the one thing. I want them to launch like a limited edition scent, scented version of this. Setting spray from one size or on till dawn. If you have oily skin, you want your makeup to stay matte and last all day, this is the one. I think we've actually emptied about 
three of these now in the last like four months. We have your purchases. We even bought little mini ones. I didn't know they had. I was in Sephora in New York and I saw the minis and we bought three of them because we love to travel with this. From CMP Labs, this is their mist, the Mugener Calming Ampule Mist. These are really nice. I wish they were cheaper just because I feel like I want to use so much of it on my face because the mist is so fine. But what I love is that the mist is not like a mist. It's like a very like, the diameter of the mist is actually very wide. So spraying it like this, you actually are able to easily get like most of your face. But I just love a really generous layer of it and I feel like these burn through really quick. So I want this in like a jumbo size, but it is really nice. From L'Oreal, this is their LV Hyaluron Plus Plump 2% Replumping Serum. We've now bought, I think, either two or three bottles total in the last six months. Because I bought a few while I was traveling around the US. I bought one in Europe. And I just like to use it to revive my hair. It's like a really nice conditioning mist that's not like super, super heavy. It doesn't make your hair greasy. It also smells really nice. And it just like revives my hair for like day two hair, really revives the waves and whatnot. So it's cute. It is more affordable as well. Just why I really like it. But yeah, I, we've already repurchased one, so. From Interium, this is their smoother glycolic body wash. Emptied this. I've also just emptied their multi-oil one as well. This one I like for just like head to toe usage. I love glycolic acid washes in my hair. This makes it feel so soft. Definitely burn through this. Want to get another one, but I'm burning through more of their body washes that I haven't used before, like the KP one. And I forgot the other one I have. So I'm trying more of the body washes just to broaden my horizons, but would want to get another one of these. From Olaplex, number four, this is the husband empty. He loves Olaplex. I also love Olaplex, but he loves Olaplex. And we already have backups of these, but this is an Olaplex household. Fable in Maine. This is their detangling leave-in conditioner. This was a both of us empty. I do like this one. Fable in Maine sense to me though. It's like a time and place situation. I don't always want the scent of this in my hair, but it really conditions. You get super nice, really silky, smooth, shiny hair. And the next morning after I, I leave this on overnight when I sleep, the next morning when I wake up, my like waves and everything are like popping. So yeah, I think we do have backups of this already but Fable in Maine is one of those brands of Sephora I see a lot of people talk about and I'm slowly exploring more of it. And she's cute, she's really cute. Empty from Glow Recipe, their avocado ceramide cleanser. Love this, smells delicious, feels amazing. It's one of those, it foams just enough that it's like a foaming cleanser, but not too much that I think it's stripping at all. It's a really nice nourishing feel on the skin after you rinse it off and it smells like green apple candy, like the green apple Laffy Taffies, what it smells like to me. Love this. I don't have a backup of this yet just because I have so many cleansers I'm burning through. I just wish they would change the packaging a little bit. A lot of product comes out, so you have to be really careful and meticulous with how you squeeze it out, but she is cute. From Crave, the Great Barrier Relief. Yes, I got two of these. I love this product. And I talk about that all the time. I love this one. I love the body moisturizer version. I burn through these. I have two empties because I didn't realize they were both half used already. But I just love these all the time. Now when it's cold in winter, my skin is dry and chapped. The nights that I really exfoliate and go heavy with like AHA, BHA, retinoids in the same night, I will always layer this on top because it brings down redness. And the next morning when I wake up, my skin's not dry and irritated. This is one of my all time, all time favorite skincare products. And yes, I got backups. From from Laneige, this is their Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. This as a cleanser is really, really nice. I would recommend this more though if you have oily skin and you want like a really good squeaky clean. It's one of those where if I put on like a really generous amount and I have like full beat and sunscreen on and really just take the time to cleanse my face, a one and done wash is enough. If you have more dry skin, I would probably avoid this. My only qualm with this is it's very perfumed, but specifically back in the day, and I'm talking like two years ago, I had a full collection from a brand called Hanyu and I just did not love the because it smelled very matronly skincare, like go to Macy's and buy it kind of skincare. This has the same scent, which I just don't love. So minus the scent, I think this is a really good cleanser for oily acne prone skin. I just am very particular with scents and products. The rest of the Blue Hyaluronic line, great. From Herbivore, this is their Milky Way Exfoliant. This is a husband empty. This was a 10% AHA plus oat soothing exfoliating serum. This is one of my favorites from last year because I think it's a really great exfoliating option for sensitive skin types. Case in point, my husband has more sensitive skin. Exfoliants tend to really irritate him. And also like he was on his like tret journey this last year. So he really had to be careful with what he used. This is great. This is gentle. This is effective. Like it works really well, but it's really gentle on the skin. So you don't get irritation. The price point for this is high. I will concede that. But if you're at Sephora, this is in your price point and you're looking for a gentle exfoliant, I think this is great. I love the combination of exfoliant with soothing ingredients. Definitely a favorite from last year, obviously. And then last empty, this is the husband empty. Laura Mercier, this is their translucent setting powder. He loves this stuff. I don't think I've ever emptied a powder like this before, but he definitely did go through this. It's been like a year to empty this. That being said, he just got their blurring powder because my friend Kareem recommended it to him. I think he likes that one more now. So just note that. This is great. Obviously it's like gold standard blurring powder. Everyone uses for like years, but the blurring powder from Laura Mercier is apparently 
better. And on to favorites, this will be quick, hopefully. I will say, actually there's a lot of non-skincare products here, so I actually will start with the skincare first. First product is actually from Garnier. This is a super UV niacinamide. I actually gave the bottle to a friend of mine to try, so I have the box on me right now. This is a brand, brand, brand new launch. I was at Boots in London in early, early January and saw this and I tried looking it up. It was like nowhere online, so I think Boots bought it out a little bit early. But this is basically like Garnier's answer to like a really matte, milky sunscreen. It's great for blemish prone skin, oily skin. It does have alcohol. I think it also has fragrance. Not entirely sure right now, but it sets down so quick. It's very, very, very watery, milky texture, and it melts into the skin super easy, and it actually is like decently matte, and it's a very good price point. So overall, this actually was like a hit. I gave it to a friend with oily acne prone skin to get their opinion of it, because again, it wasn't out yet. So I will probably repurchase this. I'm trying out some more options because it feels like a lot of brands launched a very similar product around the same time, which is interesting, but really nice because it is so affordable. And then from VT, their Riedel shot line, I did do an ad for this, full disclosure. This stuff though is amazing. The whole Riedel thing, the actual active is called spicule or on an ingredient list, you'll see hydrolyzed sponge. They're like mini tiny microscopic little like toothpick things that they act as basically penetration enhancers. They create little tiny like microscopic holes so other actives can penetrate more effectively. You can coat those little spicules with actives so that when they like get embedded into the topmost part of the epidermis, those actives are able to penetrate the skin barrier more easy and I found basically within the first two days of using this my texture smooth but also I found that when I was using other actives I feel like I noticed a better impact of those actives in my skin and I was I've been using this now for like a month plus this line is everything to me and then another sunscreen from Kosas this is the tinted mineral sunscreen I love this I did not want to love this because it's expensive and also Kosas as a brand is interesting marketing but this tinted mineral sunscreen on me looks gorgeous I know on more dry skin, this is not, not a good texture for them. I know on black skin, like deep, rich skin tone, melanated skin, this does leave a cast. But on my skin tone, this is gorgeous. For oily skin, beautiful texture. It just gives me the most beautiful glow. And the finish of it is like a radiance that looks very natural because it's not very greasy or emollient. And it's 80 minute water resistant. So if you live in my specific world of skin color, this will be a banger for you. But it's $40 for only 40 mil. It's going to have a white cast on deep skin. But it's one of those like, damn, I wish it was better for everyone. But this is so cute. I just want them to do different shades of this for a broader shade range. But this is a banger for me. Uh, body care from We The People. This is one of my favorite brand discoveries in the last few months. This is a black owned body care brand and their products are amazing. Their products smell amazing. And this is my favorite of the moment right now. This is their lactic acid body wash. This just smells so nice and it has like a warm, slightly spicy scent to it, I think. And it just feels really nice on the skin. And again, I've been using this in my hair too. It's just a really nice experience. All their products have really nice user sensory experience to them. Your skin looks amazing afterwards. So yeah, really been enjoying this line. I know my friend Alicia Lardi, another esthetician in the Psycom world, also loves this brand a lot. So we the people, if you're looking for a really fun body care line specifically targeted around actives that smell really good and it's also black owned, worth checking out. Hair now, I've been on a really big hair journey this last year. From Ceremonia, their Guava Rescue Spray. I don't remember if I've talked about this on the channel, but I do love this product so, 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 so much. This is a UV protectant, heat protectant, and what else does this do? Detangler. And basically what I do is I just spray this in my hair any day, all the time. And I mainly like it because it helps to, again, reactivate activate curls, give your hair some shine, but this texture is different than like a spray and conditioner. It's much more light. Your hair's not gonna be greasy if that's not what you want. This also just smells delicious. This entire guava line under ceremonia smells amazing. This is a Latina owned brand at Sephora as well. So if you were looking for a really good heat protectant that doesn't leave your hair really greasy, but gives you really nice shine, manageability, and it also, again, it's UV protectant as well. Worth checking out. Also, this is like $22. That's Fora. This is a brand I bought at Boots in London. It's called Umberto Giannini. This is their Curly Jelly Refresh. Again, something, I saw the Curly Refresh one and I'm like, let me see how this looks for like a day two situation where I wanna reactivate the waves. What I do is like basically I'll wash my hair, I'll style it, and then I'll sleep in it. And the next day the idea is I don't wanna put more like pomade and hairspray in it. So I'll just spray something like this to revive the hair and then it resets the polymers and the styling products so that my hair is like good. This smells really nice. This does really enhance waves. 
And, but that being said, it is a curl refresher, so I do find this to be a little bit more conditioning. So if you have more curly hair, this would be great specifically on the ends. I can't use this like crazy because my hair does get really greasy, but this smells great. And this is a really affordable price point at Boots as well. I don't know if this is available in the US though. This might just be for the EU girlies, but. And then another interesting brand discovery for hair this year has been Day at Sephora this year in New York. I remember hearing about this because a lot of the girls in Sephora love this brand. And I had a sample of this I took with me to New York a couple weeks ago and I get the hype. This is their Cactus Fruit 3 in one styling cream and this helps to smooth styles, prep blowouts, and define curls. I actually don't know if this is necessarily like a heat protectant or what this is. I just like this as a kind of conditioning product after I shower. It smells amazing. Everything I've tried from day smells amazing. Intense. Like it's intense smell. It projects but it smells really really good. Kind of candy sweet and this just I love it as a conditioning product after I shower and I leave it in overnight and the next morning I wake up my hair looks glossy, glisteny, smooth. It feels so soft. One thing to note is my husband and said this he's like I feel like you have to use such a little bit because if you use too much and I'm talking like the difference between a little rice grain size versus a pea size your hair can get really greasy which I don't know if I found that same situation but that was his opinion but for me it just smells really good a couple makeup items I have it on my lips right now from Fenty their lip oils I wear these religiously just because they smell really good this is the black cherry one it smells like cherry they also have a Kalahari melon one which smells like honeydew this was part of the Christmas lip duo set but you can buy them individually everywhere I go that I wear this everyone always wants to know what is on my lip they're like what's on your lip it looks so glassy and so plump and juicy it's always this if you like the lip gloss but want like a little bit more of a lighter silkier texture these are the ones love a good lip oil moment and these smell good and just make your lips look so 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 nice if there's three things I'm known for it's a glossy lip it's smelling good and it's glowy skin and this is the lip winner a random hit which I was not expecting from Kosas again. This is their air brow in the shade dark brown. I just really like using this because it's so easy to get a really defined bold brow. I can actually probably just show you on camera real quick. What I like about this is that it's a great color that gives you a lot of, this is before, it gives you really nice density. It gives you really nice shape and it gives you a really decent hold. But if you don't want to spend a lot of time really filling in the brow, defining the brow, outlining it, just spend five seconds working this in. You got a good brow. I also like to use it in my facial hair, like my mustache or whatever, because I get little stray mustache hairs. This is really nice. I don't know how much this costs. I just know that it works really good for me. It looks really nice on me and it's honestly foolproof and this surprising as a hit. I do want to get more of these. I also find sometimes I have issues with brow gels where they get really gloppy and weird based off what's underneath them, especially because I always get sunscreen in my eyebrows. I have never had an issue with that. So that's why it's also, it's very foolproof. If I need to do a very quick beat, that's the one I reach for. I know it's always going to work. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about for favorite, and this has been Again, there's three things I'm known for, lip, skin, and smelling good. The fragrance combo of the moment right now is these two from Replica. This is Jazz Club and this is By the Fireplace. I think I got a limited edition version of this from Sephora, but these two together layered, gorgeous. Jazz Club I like by itself because it's a sweet, light fragrance that you can wear by itself, but it also pairs really well. Top notes of this, Pink pepper essence, some sort of lemon oil, neroli oil. Middle note, rum absolute, clary sage oil, java vetiver oil. Base note, Styrex resin, tobacco leaf absolute, and vanilla bean CO2. I don't know what half that stuff is, but it smells sweet. It has this somewhat like smoky quality to it because you're supposed to be like in a jazz club. Now by the fireplace, this is one you wear it by itself and it's a very bold specific scent, but those two pair together just smell so nice because I think like you're in a jazz club, but there's like cigar smoke. Maybe there is a fireplace in this jazz club, but it just pairs so so nicely together to give you a really bold, very masculine, but somewhat sweet and sultry scent profile. For this one, top notes, pink pepper essence, orange flower absolute clove oil. Middle note, chestnut accord, guyac wood oil, cade oil, cade oil, cade oil. And then base notes is vanilla, Peru balsam resinoid, and cashmeran. Again, don't know what half that stuff is. In terms of family, this lives in the woody ambery family, whereas Jazz Club lives in the ambery woody family. So they basically live, they overlap a lot, but the smells just complement each other so nice, love. And with that, that is my faves, hates, and empties for the last one to two months, starting 2024 off. Obviously a lot of empties, having two people living in a household together that love skincare and body care. We will go through product eventually. But I've also just been exploring a lot of different product categories I don't normally talk about on the channel. Again, hair and fragrance. So it's just fun playing with product, discovering things I love. But I also want to hear from you guys. What have been some of your faves, hates, and empties from the last month or two? Always love to hear you guys' opinions. Sound off in the comment section. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I go live with more skincare, sunscreen, and beauty-related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.